welcome, welcome once again. This is his voice, uh, Frank Sebata, the host of the show, uh, the Fulfilled Youth, that comes uh, your way this time on U24 TV. Yes, we are on the issue of Africa. This is the last episode of what a youth, an African youth, can know. Wow, it means we are attacking the ignorance part. We are attacking the darkness. You know, in, uh, in another language, darkness is ignorance. So now, maybe if we overcome the ignorance by knowing, we can really uh, have the solution. But now, as a youth, now, because we are going to take the lead, what, what lead are we taking? But we are blessed that as we are reaching out to Uganda, as youth of Kampala, we are here in Nasana with the Africa altar people who have the burden for Africa. Yes, and the main organizers of Africa altar and this all prayer. We are on a spiritual issue now. Yes, maybe the Africa we have, um, we are lacking social economic, but maybe it's because of lack of prayer. Yes, uh, this beautiful team, panelists, men of God, bishops, uh, wife of bishop, uh, Chiwumulo is here, the vision bearer. We are here informing the youth. Remember, this is the fulfilled youth. We need to be filled with knowledge, not half filled, not half baked. We need just not to grow old, but we need to grow mature. Wow. I'm here. Once again, this is Voice Frank Smart. I'm here with the team. Once again, this next episode. But now, as we finish this topic, really now, a youth can be there and say, now what? Uh -huh. Now what can I uh, begin with? Wow. There's a youth there that he says, now I've known, wow, the beauty of Africa. I've loved Africa. But now, ntandikira kuchi. Yes, ntandikira kuchi. Where can I begin from? Yes, mama. Sanyu senyo, ukoma onate. Uh, chenyezo kugamba ngo mvubu kampuliriza uh, chenyezo kutandikira ko echisokera dala kwe kwa gala olukalulu oba Afrika continent ya fe kubanga ebi muku bintu ebi zubi ya tulina oba bia tugamba anti Afrika anjavu Afrika ambi fete tuwa gala continent ya fe uh, Nine bintu bya ntunulide kati olaba nga continent e ya America continent erimu omuzira eze uh, amawanga ga Bulaya galina embera eyo muzira ete soboka na ya abantu bali bagala ensi zaabwe bakola obudde butono nyo obuddo obulala baba mu nyumba nayo bo obuddo obutono Bakola nebazimba ensi ya wenera bikabulu unji. Bakola chone chisovoka okula bikanti olukalu lwawe luego mbesa. Na ye okusinzi la kuluafe atebi okolo labange bitono. E chisoka kwengo mvubuka olino kwa gala kontinenti. Okuva kumukua nogu no goga anti njaga lechintu na okusala o okole levi nitu eviru unji olukalu. Manyaba mumusoma. Katonda agenda baya amba mufune emili mu emili unji. Mufukeba engineers, mufukeba doctors. Kati eyo mukama jana akuteka. Sala okola bulichoko lango chikola bulu unji. Awobo ya gade. Ensiyo. Otandi kwa kule tela haba antu wabali munseyo. Kujaga lano kujinyo mirwa. Racha haba antu haba singa baduka. Nebagamba continent ya tujaga la. Kubanga balaba engudoru simbi. Amalua lilo temuli dagala, ebifote vinyirira. Kubanga ebifebio vyo nabilika abantu abali responsible. Okubiko lobulu unji nga bila bika bulu unji. Babi wa budget ebimalo okubiko langa bila bika bulu unji. Nine bata biko la bulu unji. Kati abantu abali munsi, nebeta mwensi. Kati echisoka kwa galansi. Ngabuli chintu chona chojikolela, ochikola bulu unji. Ojakule tomuntu omulalo kwa galenseyo. Chiringanga kuzimba nyumba. No zimba makano gazimba burunji. 
Echa mazimolete la bantu wabagabela moku nyumirwa. Ebuwe rubayi nzo kwela bila antibali ni anansana. Nga makenge lijeba aga zimba mu, nga gali kustandadi ya abulaya. Katibuli luoko lechintu echiru njolete la bantu wabali uo okuchaga la no kuchinyumirwa. Okwa gala okulike vikorwa. Chenyizo baga amba. Echo chidja bale etera okwa gala orukaluruno. Ateno okulu sabira. Echecho okubiri. Okulu sabira. Okuigo kusabira Afrika. Angabu osabira abana bo. Okusabira nsi. Okusabira Uganda. E, okwa gala Uganda. Echo chidja kole nja ulo. Era mukama jaku wa mkisa. Ngoli munseyo. Mukama aba wa mkisa. Yes. Yeah, so mama. Um... Kwa ikunsonge yo, uh, obado yo gira, nti mutufu kuigo kusabira Afrika. So, so mu Afrika ote ino, uh, duli kwa kumweba tegesi. Mm. Ndabi nga ama wanga agenja ulo, uh, mu Afrika, nga kungani la wano, munasa na nga gaze. So, sike za wano wali wo echama. Echo kumanyano kutegira. Ila, abamu, uh, umanyo ulusi, o ino kugenda, uwo yo ategele echi, nitu achikutegeze. So, ebisele bisi nga, abantu abeera mu kirunga tachagala kwa tachitegedde so atwe uh, bazamu kama anti team ya fenu africa alter umuvubu kango olie iwo na uh, chine chino chibade chigena maso kati mu chimanyi na ye it is a thing that really awakens the awareness that you have to take responsibility of your living here in africa not run away from africa and if you are looking for the solution a youth you are looking for a solution i want to tell you don't look for the solution. You are the solution. You are the solution. If at all you put your, uh, 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 you put yourself in the responsibility, you will see how you are going to be a solution. Yes. Yes, yes Papa. Praise the Lord. Uh, as the youth of uh, of this uh, nation, I want to encourage everyone. To first of all change the attitude that you that we have, we are here, but most of us have a, a very wrong attitude. So the starting point of any youth to uh, to prosper or blossom or move forward is to change your attitude. We have so many people with negative attitudes, uh, just because we are living in a contaminated world, a polluted world. People have bad thoughts, people have bad behavior, and yet we need to associate with them. So as we draw nearer the, the, the Africa altar convocation, let's prepare ourselves by changing the attitude uh, in so many aspects, in, 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 especially in prayer. We need to start preparing our, ourselves in prayer by grounding our lives in, in, in the word of God. Recite the word of God day in and the day out, just as uh, it is written in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. I'm not going to read there, but the, uh, we are encouraged to read the word of God day in and day out, to recite it. Uh, I mean, uh, do everything to see that you are the word of God. I mean, let it manifest in you so that you may be able to change your habits, change your thoughts, change your behavior. Then, uh, secondly, uh, as a youth, you need to encourage. Uh, one another. We need to encourage one another so that we may be able to lift those people who are down. There are so many people who are down children, people who are, who are discouraged because of uh, the, 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 I mean, the circumstances that are prevailing around them. The Bible says, I think it is in uh, Job chapter 2, verse, I mean chapter 22, verse 27 or 28 there, that uh, if men are cast down, we shall say there is lifting up. If someone is cast down, don't go and step on him. Go and lift him up. So as a youth, lift your fellow youth who has fallen down. Don't laugh at him. Don't ridicule him. Don't, uh, uh, I mean, don't abuse him or even criticize him. So we should be encouragers. Just as the Bible say, I mean, it says that uh, Barnabas, I think it was Barnabas who was an encourager. Then lastly, uh, we need to to we need to start early in your, uh, let's start early in our lives to be grounded in things of God. Otherwise, if you wait for the time to uh, I mean, when, if you wait for some I mean for you to grow old, 
Some things will never get out of you. The Bible says, those who seek me early shall find me. Wow. If you wait for, uh, for, I mean, for you to grow up, and then cha change some of your so behavior. So, Papa, those so things will never... You can pause a little bit. Change. I have lived with that. Yes. If you look God Ali, mm. you will see him. Ah, that's you so great. Find him. Those who Ali. The Bible says, those who seek me early shall find me. That was wisdom talking, I mean, telling, I mean, explaining itself to people. Mm. That seek me early, you will find me. So, when you seek God early enough in your age, you are going to find him, and uh, definitely you are going to succeed. Then, uh, lastly, uh, get to know that uh, as a youth, don't be a competitor. If someone is on top, yeah? if you're on top, if you're, you know, they, they say if you're on cloud nine, eh? you're on top. I mean, don't be a competitor. I mean, find ways of, uh, of, of uh, uh, fellowshipping with uh, other people, other fellow youth who are not on cloud nine, people who are, are at a lower level than you. So try to mingle with them, try to connect with them, try to uplift them, encourage them, teach them, enrich them. I mean, complete them, don't compete with them. Otherwise, if you're a competitor, you will never have uh, any success in your life. Then uh, lastly, change your behavior of prayer. Well, we, we talked about this in the last episode. Uh, that uh, you change your behavior, pray uh, every time. There is a, a writer, some writer, uh, 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 who said that uh, I may not know how to pray, but one thing that I know is that I cannot spend five, 15 minutes without prayer. He said I cannot pray for 15 minutes, but I cannot uh, spend 15 minutes without prayer. Wow. <laughs> hey. So make sure you are always in prayer. Pray when you are, I mean, in a taxi. Pray when you are on the job. Pray when you are in church. Pray even when you are sleeping. May God bless you. Amen, amen. Wow, I like the prayer pattern. Yes. yes. Yeah, thank you very much once again. Uh, we are finding out the solution. Uh, what should uh, an African youth do to restore or to redeem Africa. Uh, number one, you have to love your continent. Love yourself, love your family, love your country, love your continent. Uh, that is, uh, it takes us now to the spirit of nationalism. Okay, you and patriotism. You have to love your country, love your continent. Now, when you love your continent, you love yourself, you love your country, you will, number one, pray. You pray for it, uh, so that God can help you or help your country or your continent blossom. Secondly, you have to work. You have to work hard. Yeah, you see wherever you are, you have to work. Remember, laziness is condemned in the Bible. So some youth see uh, if you are there and you have not been working, uh, you need to begin working. Also, you see, we should know that uh, our our problems, uh, we have to learn to be self-reliance, that we solve our problems as Africans by ourselves. Yes, we should not rely on uh, other powers, other uh, continents to offer us solution. We should devise means by ourselves to offer solution to our African problems. We have solutions. Uh, prayer, reading the word of God, working hard, okay helping one another and also youth sometimes we we don't use well the resources or even our our, our patriarchs we should learn to use well our uh, god-given resources like the minerals the the soil we have the talents we have we use well and uh, with that god will bless us some people are over extravagant uh, youths, sometimes you, you, you don't use well what, what you have. So we should always have self-reliance in our, 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 what? our daily activities to solve problems that we have as Africans. I tell you, we shall really, we shall really be on top again and be a blessing to other continents because Africa is blessed and you are the solution. When you rise up, things will work out. Wow. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, before we go to the break, 
yeah it's uh, could it be that what you're looking for it's what you are as a youth uh, we grow with this mindset of looking for the job not knowing that you are the job of looking about the, who has the answer yet you are the answer yeah. because it's what we are educated to be or maybe that mindset but if you look the inside of you the solution of adam was not outside adam was in adam <laughs> the idea brought the companion was from him so now as a youth i just want to say you that you are loaded with substance but be early in seeking or discovering yourself that you may recover early because we are the solution. So this is a youth, uh, fulfilled uh, youth show. As we go to the break, this is his voice, Frank Smata. Thank you very much. We'll come from the break and right now, yes, this is a fulfilled youth brought to you by the youth uh, Kampala region, Nafbak, reaching to every corner of Uganda and even outside Uganda, where the youth are. Fulfilled youth, social, economic, and spiritual. Right now, we are on a spiritual matter. We believe that Africa uh, needs a has a spiritual need that need to be answered. And now, Africa Altar team, I'm with it here. Some you didn't know about it, but really, it's a team that organizes Africa Altar, a place of prayer, place of knowledge, place of information on every August on 27th here in Nasana. So be part of it. Come and know. Come and know your heritage. Yes, as we are uh, youth, uh, we're going to the audience. But a uh, youth, uh, I want to tell you that sometimes what you need to know is that you need to know from the elders. That's it. <laughs> yes, so uh, we sometimes we have the elders, but don't use them. And we cannot make an impact in our generation. Because our elders, your papa, your father, your pastor, your anyone, has some information that when you know, or maybe he will help you to miss the mistake they did. So listen and learn from them as a youth. Don't be proud of what you know, but learn to learn. So I'm giving that tip as a youth. So in the audience, still as we are going to the uh, nearing to the end, Yes, the audience, uh, Chagera Commando, this one is a singer, one of the youth in Kampala. Yes. I'm um, Chagera Commando Aesu. I'm one of the readers from Kamp Kampala Youth. Uh, our reader is Pastor Frank Sebata. Uh, I want to thank God uh, because this time, in the other word, Chagera Kogera Koku, it's a Mufubuka. No kusaba. We said that we are finger of Vubuka. The Twina Kula Nukuchu. Nyongoko was a Katondo was a debafe. A Sumba of Fabatulunga Miza. A Songa Choto, Kusonga Africa. Naye Omuvubuka Kuera Magazine T. Whatever doja could turn the Kirana one which you teach again of Kuerao. Hm. Whatever doja Kumuriro. Not any kuku mo muriro mo bolambo, obo moyo, kubanga lo achi. Echo to, ah, uh, ebinte ebimu, kubanga hizo kwe nyu, manga ngogamandi muto, gambandi mwa vungo gambasi mani wengine dachi kula mbufuka na ita wontia, ne katonda yatuaga kwe kizampe tia ita mbufuka. Nga Yeremia Yeremia mu esulanya, yamu ita Yeremia na gambandi muto si sobola, ne katonda yalala bobo sobaziwe, katonda na ita Daudi. Naba la lavanji. Kati, nzimbaura magezo kuja kuchoto, kutandi kila na wano, kuchachi wano wetuli. Uh, kuwanga nze njine kizampe ntononti, nalimpa kudeke njuchi. Na ye njuchi, awatali muliru, za nema, za lizi nemesezo mbisi. Kutusa unaleto muliru, nete choto muliru, njuchi za duka, nezi jayo mbisi. Ntikati umuvuka, ebibyo, atuso kufumbiro muamio ya libanga alimu muliru, aali, Munjuchi, mukama yeva ziwe. Nenga weta aga choto, no jayo umwisi, no jayo muamewo, no jayo wasoma, nenga minimo jojiri munjuchi, weta aga 
okuja kuchoto umuliro ugo wow wow mukama yeba ziwe so mbadei saba tutandikile kuchoto chino uh, ewa pastor wa fe wano wetuli enansana uh, mukama ajatuko la uonji mukama wa umu kisa yes my beautiful sister praise god um, I'm called Joanta Besiga Mukama. I want to thank you, Pastor Frank, for this show. Um, for real, uh, I've got to know more about Africa. We've been living in, in many lies that we are cursed, what, what, eh? But right now, I've got to know the truth about Africa. But uh, my question here is, how can I pray for Africa? Because in Dabienga, but how can I pray for Africa? Because we've been praying for ourselves, for the country, for our families, but this time it is Africa. So how can we pray for it? Wow. Thank you. Wow, that's so great. You're going to be answered by the elders here. Okay. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, once again, praise God. Uh, this is Pastor Innocent Peter. Uh, ndi musumba wabavubuka Mountain Sinai Ubako Pastors Fellowship and Wamala Pastors Fellowship uh, Echintu chenja gala okuongereza ku kusonga ya Afrika Betuwa ugele chigambo Afrika Omuntu wala babu samize A uh, few days back Ninawe nalimpita nenda bomwa nanga mama we amusibye muyirizi ne mpulira obulumi mutima gwange era motogere ekigambo Africa ekintu ekijja mu muntu go ekirowoze ekijja mu muntu go mu Africa busamize ateka akati katonda tasobola kuka awali ekyote ekirala kitegeza tuweredwa omukisa okukungana nga abavubuka nabantu abalala bonna ok Africa is a blessed land. We are not of luck. We are operating in the sufficiency of God. And we are more blessed than you ever think. Praise the Lord. Now, I want us to climax it by this particular verse in First Timothy. Let me give it to you briefly and then I will call it a day. First Timothy chapter 4 verses 7. But reject the godless stories and the wife tells. What is affecting us from standing and taking up our positions are the tales of the old generals, the people we would call the generals. We should understand that we don't operate on a hearsay. We operate on what we have acknowledged in God. That's why Peter came out and said, that which we have seen, <laughs> that which we have seen, Touched is what we proclaim. Through the, whole, the help of the Holy Spirit, we are blessed. And I'm telling you, I will tell you what I know in God. Nothing will ever take me aside. Africa, it is time we arise. As Isaiah chapter 52 verses 1 says, Arise and shake off the dust. Gwampuliriza. Teri agenda kuku nkumula konfufu. Teri amanyi buavu wechikache wa mwengawe bukuluma. Nobody knows that you have even sleepless nights. Not until you wake up and say, an end is an end. I arise to shine myself. I arise to move to the blessing that the Lord has called me to. We are the flyers of the land. May the Lord bless us as we arise in Jesus' name. Amen. My sister, my sister behind. Praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Maria. Nakasule from Tree of Life Worship Center. I would like to thank all the elders who are before us. Thank you so much for organizing such a big thing. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, I just want to emphasize one thing or oh, to call all the youth that is in Africa that please let us come and pray because prayer is the key to each and everything. As Pastor Bizigi talked about, he told us that let, let us pray. If you cannot pray for one hour, at least pray for after five minutes that I cannot live without prayers. So let prayer become our lifestyle. Praise the name of the Lord. I would like to encourage all the youth from Africa, let prayer become our lifestyle. Let us pray unceasingly. Then we shall see and the heaven will be open for us. May the Lord bless you. I praise the Lord. 
Uh, my name is Oye Daniel. I thank God for this wonderful day that he has made. Uh, finally, we as uh, African sons and daughters, uh, in my perspective, God has remembered Africa. I thank God for the, for the host, uh, uh, Pastor Frank and uh, Pastor Deborah and the panel, uh, the panel at large. I want to emphasize on calling uh, upon the African sons and daughters on, that on the convocation day that we are so much blessed this time around that we Africans, uh, as the youths, we are involved uh, in this altar, that we may come and gather for prayers. I, I want to uh, ask a question that will be answered by uh, our elders according to the Bible or according to the scriptures. What are exactly uh, pa the, uh, uh, the perspective of the Bible or God speaking or prophesying about Africa? Are there any scriptures related to this Africa altar? Are there any, uh, um, is there any prophecy that was given before time? As we heard uh, our pastor, Pastor Deborah, narrated that Apostle Frank Chumulo was, uh, got a vision, received a vision from God as he, he, he uh, uh, as was directed to do this. Is there any scripture basing or, or supporting the Africa altar? God bless you. Yes, uh, welcome from the audience, and right now uh, we want to conclude with uh, Bishop, who is the chairman ever for the uh, Africa altar, and this year really is so powerful, uh, 27th August, but now tell us as we conclude from the, some questionnaires as we brief uh, the time, yes. Okay, thank you very much once again. Yeah, with the question of our uh, youth uh, sister there, how can I pray for Africa? You first have to thank God for what Africa is. You acknowledge what God has done to Africa. God has blessed Africa. So you thank God. You celebrate Africa. And God will bless you for that. Pray with a thankful. And then where there is a need, you ask God uh, to forgive. Where uh, Africans have, have seen, have killed each other, have gone for other worship of other gods, so you repent on behalf of Africa. And also you make proclamation and declaration, and uh, God will hear your prayers. And, 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 and then you go to the scripture where another youth asked about uh, the scripture with that talks about Africa. We are based here on uh, uh, Isaiah 19.19. They say in the middle of Africa, Egypt or Kush, okay, there will be an altar okay, in Africa. And so we are not outside the scripture. We are in God's word to pray for Africa. And therefore, we want to encourage the youths wherever you are to come here in Uganda, East Africa, where the Africa altar has been organized here in Wakiso Nansana. Okay, so you can use a uh, airplane. You can. You don't need to miss this. You can use a bus. You can even uh, walk on foot, like you trek. Even like we can have example of the Boas from South Africa, where you had a great trek. You can now begin trekking from South Africa. Uh, these to people come, come here. from northern to Namugongo. <laughs> yes, like yeah. those ones who have you been moving in pilgrimages. You can walk for the the cause. The issue here, knowing the cause. Yeah. Why? The accommodation is there for those ones uh, who may need a hotel, you can pay for yourself for the hotel. But we have accommodation which is moderate for those ones. Uh, yes, those in a dormitory style, you, 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 can, you can come and we shall offer you food. I'm telling you as a chairman, food is in abundance. You, just, yes, just, wow. You, you, you understand a, this. Yeah. You eat. You eat all kinds of food. So please come. Let you come with a friend. Let your friend come. And lastly, I want to tell you, be intentional. From today, an African youth, you need to be very intentional in prayer. Be intentional in your education, your studies. Be intentional as you are working. Be intentional as you are marrying. All this to boost African standard of living. Thank you very much. God bless you. And we meet there. Wow, wow, wow. This is a fulfilled youth are reaching now 
now into Nasana uh, from Kampala Region Youth uh, Ministry. Yes, uh, for uh, uh, more details or feedback about this show, about what's happening, let me give you this WhatsApp. I know you are there. You need to be part of this. We are giving a solution and practical one. Really, uh, August 27th, really a Nasana after Chawamala. Yes, uh, really, uh, the altar is going to burn. People from Africa are going to be here, leaders and all people. Thank you very much for the show, and let us meet uh, next uh, week. Thank you very much.